Hey guys, it's Alonzo Von 3, Advanced Visualization Technology Productions, AVT Pro. Yes, another Ready Rigs entry here. And right here we have the FK Spine. And if anybody sees any of my rigs, you will see this rig spine. And basically, I just did a quick animation here. Uh, just to kind of show how the rig works, how flexible it is. And, and as you can see, it's really flexible. <laughs> and for, especially for it to be just, just bones. And it's no spline or no curve or anything like that in it. It's just bones. And it's very controllable too. And so... Just a fast uh, animation here just to kind of show what it does there. And as you can see, the controllers, these are also very helpful guides to help you see in case you get any kind of popping or anything like that, which you get in most spines. I mean, none of them are, are, are perfect, but um, this one is darn near. <laughs> okay, let me just show you. All right, let me go back to the beginning of this animation. And here, as you can see, is my controllers. And also, very simple curves. This isn't really even cleaned up. As you can see, some of these are not really even cleaned up. So, uh, a lot of them aren't cleaned up. <laughs> this is, oh. This is, <laughs> okay. One, two. But uh, this is not my layout. I don't usually work like this. I, I have two monitors so I spread things out a little bit. I just wanted you guys to see everything here. But as you can see here, here are the controls for the spine. And it's a very, very simple, easy to operate. And rigging it is slightly different. But I just want to let you know that this is probably the best one I've done yet. I say that everything. My last rig project was the best one I did yet. But, you know, as much as complicated and huge and big as that was, and, uh, you know, it was a great experience because I got to hire like three or four animators, electric image animators. I called them the vets, the virtual electric image troopers. So that, you know, I hope that we can do more work like a feature film <laughs> anyway uh but this is what i like about this uh um now in the last dvd i showed you how to use certain controllers and, and i showed you all the problems with that now i'm going to show you the easy way of doing it and so basically i showed you why everything goes wrong why uh and how to fix it now I'm just going to show you the easy, quick way to do this. And it's nice because, but I, you know, as I go along, I, I, I learn more and more. And so this is just what I learned. Uh, this is not uh, like uh, electric image train me or anybody train me for that sake. I just, you know, this is how I get it done. And uh, so here I, I want to show is like these uh, rotation axes are directly around the ones Oops. they're very much you know so this is nice this is a very simple bind nothing uh, nothing special I just skinned it you know and what I like about this is that uh, so you eventually get pop but look at it it's like turned in on itself I mean, you could do, with this, you can do all kind of things. I mean, look at that. This is just, it's a great spine. And so what I want to do is share it and show you how great it is. And uh, show you what you can do with it before, you know, we move on to some other kind of setup. So this is just one spine. Now you can put this in your uh, in your character, or you can use it for any old kind of thing. You know, it's just pretty amazing. 
I mean, if you turn it in on yourself, on itself, you'll get some popping, but, you know, I show different ways of even dealing with that. Different rotation orders and how to reduce popping, how to get the maximum out of your rig. Maximum angles and things like that. And so, this is a very, very easy to use, very simple setup. Okay. And on this one, something I just started to do is this independent hips. You know? I don't usually do it, but I just started to do it. So, and it's just, you know, I kind of rig on the fly. You know, guys, every time I do a rig, it's different. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be, but in general, it, it is. This isn't weight map. It's just mild. Nothing special. And so, so I was thinking, but this is really the basis of how, like, the poser salesman that is free on the Electric Image website this is basically how I do it. So, um, so, uh, so that's it. And like I say, these rotation orders are the way I want it. This is the first time I've probably done that. But the Y is actually on the Y for the controllers, which works out really well in the uh, F curve editor. So. These nice, like I said, it's not cleaned up. So I just wanted to get you, I figure I'd do this because the last rig was already, it had feet and it also had arms. Now I usually do a more sophisticated arm setup. So this is the kind of things that a lot of people just wanted to know. And if you know the other rig, you can, you can go from here and just start working and just incorporate this rig setup. So basically, it shows you how to sh how to handle these controllers, how to get good ro uh, rotation axes, uh, different things about just dealing with the spine and the backbone, the spine, the hips. And then, if you want, I mean, you can add your own legs and stuff like that. But basically, this is the part of it. Now, I can go also into an IK rig and show you the same kind of principles but i don't every now and then i do an ik rig just if it's a real fast rig uh i'll do an ik rig so i can i can show you that as well and then the regular normal rigs that we normally use but uh this is just it's just some of the principles and going in and pulling this together and to do this now i'm wondering and this is my question is, should I just do this part or just do the whole rig as far as the body? I'm not getting into the facial animation, but, you know, at build this and do the legs again, do the feet again, and then do the more sophisticated arms. Now, uh, I, it, it'll take less time because I'm not going to go heavy into it. Basically, I build this once and then just boom, I just go through it. You get to see it. If you want a lot of explanations for stuff. You have to get the first DVD, okay? So this is basically me just doing it, you know, and I'll explain some of it, but not too much. Uh, just enough that you know it, you know, and and uh, I won't go over the same information as I did uh, last time just for the sake of time and redundance, you know. So, so okay, so let me know what you guys think and... Uh, you know, this is, like I say, it's a, just a really fun rig. You can do a lot of great stuff with it. And, uh, and again, if you want, I'll do it, like, for the whole body. But, you know. <laughs> I just really twisted him up for no reason. That's not nice. Is it? <laughs> Let me get rid of it. How about that? Yeah. 
So anyway, guys, uh, so let me know. Let me know. Would you rather see? Would you rather see the whole rig with the arms, or would this component part be better? And maybe I could sell it at a cheaper price. You know, instead of like eighty-five dollars, or you know, I could sell it at just like. 45 or 55 you know and leave it as that you know let me know what you guys think really flexible though right okay <laughs>